I'd like to read to you something from a hero of mine. You know, sometimes we don't hear wisdom. And this was written in 1855 by Chief Seattle. This we know. The earth does not belong to man. Man belongs to the earth. All things are connected, like the blood that unites us all. Man did not weave the web of life. He is merely a strand in it. Whatever he does to the web, he does to himself. One thing we know, our God is also your God. The earth is precious to him, and to harm the earth is to heap contempt on its creator. Your destiny is a mystery to us. What will happen when the buffalo are all slaughtered, the wild horses tamed? What will happen when the secret corners of the forest are heavy with the scent of many men, and the view of the ripe hill is blotted with talking wires? Where will the thicket be? Gone. Where will the eagle be? Gone. It is the end of living and the beginning of survival. I'm not sure, a hundred years after he wrote those words, that everything he feared isn't coming true. What I am sure is that together we can stop this. Greed, and we've let greed, is running this planet. It's not governments. Our Congress is pretty much ineffectual. It's business greed. And wealth inequality, you know, fewer and fewer people. And the thing about greed, and it's an important thing, is it short-sighted. Greed will rob today and tomorrow without any conscience. But we are powerful. We matter. In fact, we are the most powerful. Kindness, wisdom, and truth always win. Don't let them make you frightened. Stand up. Say it loud. Scream. Shine a light. They scurry away like the bullies they are. We can make a difference. Please join me. Let your voice be heard.